Last question on this topic. Boulder, as you know, is pretty far down the road now in pursuing municipalization of its electric utility, or basically condemning Excel's assets within the city limits and, and taking them over. Um, you've been a mayor and you've been a secretary of energy. Give me, if you would, sort of the pros and the cons of that. Is that, uh, you know, it's, it's been argued that that will increase the speed with which they move to renewables. Is that really true? What do you think? Well, I, I followed it from a distance, so I, I can't say I've followed all the intricacies of, of what Boulder has done. I would simply say this. Any community that wants to move in that direction first ask, has to ask itself, what is its goal? What are you trying to accomplish? In most cases, when municipalities do this, the concern is that the price of electricity is too high mm -hmm. and that they're customers and their uh, uh, constituents are being taken advantage of. And so let's find, and, and also um, for companies that are in that city, they're at an uncompetitive uh, position compared to a competitor who is in a surrounding county that has lower electricity prices. So if the purpose is to rein in prices, because prices are escalating too quickly, that's a very legitimate reason to do something. Um, generally speaking, the fact is that Colorado electricity rates are not out of line with the nation as a whole. Um, some people don't like a penny increase, but we're not out of line. If the reason is to have more, as a matter of public policy of the people of Boulder or any community, that it wants to move more quickly towards renewables, and that's a different kind of reason, but it's also a legitimate reason. So I think uh, if it is to have more, quote, control over its destiny and not be exposed to the, the forces of a multi-state corporation, that might be another reason. So different communities might have different reasons. Um, but I think the community first has to agree on what its, pri what its priority is. What problem is it trying to fix? Is there a problem? And if there is, then you set about trying to figure out how to do it. Now the second, once you've, once you've decided that you have a legitimate, well understood, and universally accepted purpose for doing this, the next question is can you do it in a way that is financially responsible? The last thing you want to do if you take over a system is to end up with rates that are higher for your constituents than they were under the base case scenario. You will, be, you will have some very unhappy voters and secondly, you'll have companies who will start leaving and they'll start moving elsewhere where they can get che cheaper electricity prices. That's what's happening today in the United States. Companies are leaving, particularly large manufacturing plants that use a lot of are leaving states where they're playing exorbitant electricity rates. They're moving elsewhere where they get cheaper rates. So if you're going to go down that path, the people who are planning this have to have fairly a high degree of fairly high, fairly high degree of confidence that they're going to end up with competitive rates or maybe even lower rates. Um, and then thirdly, if the goal is to have more renewable alternative energy, then there's a way to do that. But again, you've got to assure yourself that you can do it in a way that doesn't cause rates to go up for the taxpayer. Because unless you can answer all those questions with some reasonable assurance, you can never have absolute certainty, then I think there are risks to doing it. On the other hand, if you can answer those questions with reasonable certainty, then I think it's a very plausible and reasonable thing for a community to do.